So in this uh, short video, I would like to introduce Mahara as a e-portfolio management system. Um, it is uh, one very famous uh, portfolio management system, which is open source and free for the public to use. And uh, in general, you can say you can use this e-portfolio management system pretty much like you're using Facebook. You can friend people, you can form a group, you can have different pages, and you can have your own um, profile um, demonstrating your abilities, your activities. So it is totally up to the students um, to decide uh, what to publish, uh, when to publish and share with whom. So as you can see, there are three major features um, in Samahara. One is to create contents. Two is to share these contents with uh, the public or with a private group. Three is to engage with the different contents and members of the community. So what is a portfolio? A portfolio is a compilation of materials that exemplifies your beliefs, skills, qualifications, education, training, and experiences. It is very much like a CV of your learning experience, if you like. And what is an e-portfolio? It is short for electronic portfolio. An electronic portfolio is a collection of portfolios that has been digitalized. So it is mainly um, distributed online and uh, it can include the different multimedia types such as um, files, in input text, multimedia, blog entries, hyperlinks, images, etc. And uh, they are both demonstrations of the user's abilities and platforms for self-explanation. In many cases, Mahara and Moodle are integrated together to enrich the learning experience of le learners and uh, teachers. This is a table that um, position Mahara and Moodle side by side to have to, to that you have a basic understanding about the differences between these two. When Moodle is a learning management system, LMS, Mahara is an e-portfolio management system. While Moodle is quite central, um, is quite central around uh, the instructors, they actually um, decide on different elements of the environment and they post a feedback to assignments submitted on the platform. And usually it's close um, as a, a on-campus online class for students who are enrolled and uh, it is considered formal learning. And it is a very much a style of lecturing for a group of students. Well, Mahara actually is very student-centered. Students can decide different elements on the platform, what kind of contents to publish, and uh, they are usually public. It is shareable to the public users, and it's very much informal learning. So um, while Moodle is a course management system, Mahara is considered personal knowledge ma management system. There are different purposes of using Mahara, different scenarios as well. For different types of users, for instance, students, um, they can build their individual portfolio to publish their competency, their uh, preferred or uh, aggregated uh, resources along their learning journey, or to share with others their learning outcomes, to demonstrate uh, capabilities, learning outputs, to align the portfolio to a competency framework. And the teachers, uh, and uh, for instance, if you allow industry users to access to your Mahara, they can do the same thing as the student users. And uh, um, you can create different uh, e-portfolio 
um, pages, I would say, and you can categorize them into different types. For instance, if it is for personal usage to mark your learning progress or to demonstrate your capability, um, you can label it as individual e-portfolio. But if it is for project collaboration or group work, you can mark it as a project e-portfolio. If it is to demonstrate a class as a unit, then it is a class e-portfolio. It is really very um, flexible. So for different uh, audience, they also bear different purposes aligned with these different types of portfolio. And for instance, for students in a project e-portfolio, they can really collaborate with classmates in groups. And inside a class e-portfolio, they can engage within a class to review previous class outputs if they are made visible to the current users and to share this class to the public. For teachers, they can provide tutoring based on projects portfolio pages to check on the progress of project members and give feedback for facilitating the progress. And for class e-portfolio, they can demonstrate class progress and outputs, and even they can accumulate artifacts generated over different iterations class. And for industry users, you can allow them to audit in your um, project of students. You can allow them to audit as uh, external learners to empower open education, for instance. And you can allow them to also review previous class outputs and share the class with their colleagues. So um, earlier we mentioned to to align portfolio to a competence a competency framework and here is a, a screenshot of the um, interface inside Mahara indicating um, different choices related to smart evidence framework so um, you can really align these frameworks with the portfolio so as as I mentioned earlier, there are different purposes of using Mahara ePortfolio. Um, in one case, it can be showcasing different uh, educational activities such as assessment of students' work and uh, uh, employee, but in employer ability portfolios, the CVs of students. And uh, another, in another case, it can be um, to enhance the communication or co collaboration between students and staff or between students and students. It is also a very good way to track and uh, um, demonstrate learning progresses of uh, different students. And students can use it as a tool, a learning tool to reflect on their learnings, to um, set goals, to organize their work better. And on the uh, website of Mahara, you can actually use different accounts available there to experience different roles um, as Mahara users. And you don't need to set up anything. You can just use the username and password and directly go to this website and you can experience already. So once you enter Mahara after you log in, you can first complete your profile, such as adding your existing blog address, adding entries of your education, setting your personal goal, academic goals, career goals, and mark different skills you already possess. And the second step you can do is to create already some contents on your portfolio. So what types of contents are available? You can create pages and you can organize pages and links inside collections. You can also upload files and uh, organize them in photos. You can write personal journals or diaries on your learning progress or reflect on your learning experience. You can plan um, your learning or um, collaboration with the others and uh, mark it with the different tasks, starting from when 
ending when, this kind of thing. You can even build a full resume and attach a cover letter to the front of it. You can add a personal touch by customizing the skins of your portfolio. You can organize tags which label the contents in different ways. So here is a menu of the create uh, um, um, what, what different types of uh, uh, contents you can create uh, on Mahara. And to note that uh, Mahara is quite bridged with the Creative Commons licensing. So you, for each content you produce, you, um, you before you publish, you are asked to, to assign different licensing type to the content. So other users can know what to do with your content. If you have an advanced licensing, you can even add it here uh, on Mahara. So you can also choose to whom the content is to share with. It can be within the community, it can be with, with, with outside the community. It's totally depending on your own choice. And for each content you publish, for instance, each page you publish, other users can comment and rate. You can switch on the visibility of the comments to allow it um, only appear in private, or you can allow it to be um, viewed by the public without problem. Another thing that is under the share menu, so after you publish things, create things and publish things, you can share with other people and uh, that would be shown uh, under shared by me. But while other people are also sharing things with you, they are going to appear under shared with me. Here you can use different filters and uh, a searching function to look for the results. And finally, you can engage with other people, engage in different groups. You can also engage in different forums inside the groups. So for people, you can friend them, send them a message and add them to a group or invite them to join a group. For groups, you can create new groups. You can also join existing groups. And for different uh, um, posts, different contents uh, that you post in the group, it's going to be shown on the menu organized this way. So let's say you publish some pages. If you click pages and collections, you're going to see it there. So that's, oh, and then the final one, of course, a very, very common activity that is discussion forums for, for each group. You have some discussions going on. And uh, if you click here, discuss, discussion topics under engage, you are going to find out of them. So that's more, that's what you can expect from Mahara. I hope it is helpful as a, um open resource for you to start learning about Mahara, start uh, experiencing Mahara. Thank you very much.